Okay, <clears throat> let's get this situated. Let's make this bigger. Okay, and resume. The game that I'll be playing today is Castlevania. Um, I did not grow up playing this game myself. Oh, played without me. Um, the first thing I noticed, I love this intro sequence here. The sprite work is really great. We've got the moving clouds and the bats and stuff there. Um, and then even, let's traverse here and kind of look around, but <clears throat> some of the environment stuff is awesome. The little, the trees and the fire, the cat, um, the castle, which uh, well, I'm getting to in a second here. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, the statues. The graphics are surprisingly good from the game from the late 80s. Um, and I like the color quite a bit. This game is supposed to be a bit horror-ish and gothic, but the colors are still bright and interesting. A lot of greens and blues. Even the red. I mean, the colors aren't too dark, which I really appreciate. And here's the castle. It looks pretty great, I think. Um, as far as the characters go, um, I haven't seen too much yet, but... I know Simon, I know he's kind of like a barbarian kind of guy. I think it's cool he has a whip. I would have assumed he had a sword or something if I had never played this game before. The ghouls are pretty cool though, and I like that they're purple. They have an interesting pose with their hands up. And I know I, I was playing earlier, oh yeah, these guys, these like cats. And there's also like these big bats and like spiders. I like those guys, and they're pretty tough to dodge, surprisingly. This game... Um, as a as a platformer, it's very similar to something like Mario or, or Sonic. Well, probably more so um, Mario because it has power ups and stuff, and there's bosses. Or Mega Man. Mega Man's a better example. Um, I really like the controls. They're pretty simplistic, but they're tight. And I like that when you kill an enemy. They have a chance of dropping a weapon, I think that's pretty interesting. It's a bit different than the dynamic in Mario where you kind of just hit a brick and you might get a power up. You kind of have to earn it a little bit more in this game. Um, oh, I'm dead, dang. <laughs> the connection that I see with this game, with like modern games, is I don't think that without Castlevania we'd have a lot of modern platformers. Um, a good example is Metroid, although the more direct comparisons are older Metroid games, but I think that Castlevania definitely has directly influenced, uh, or been influenced by this game. And then even the Metroidvania genre, which is literally named after this game, I believe, or in this franchise, testament to how great and influential this game is. And now it's kind of stood the test of time. I haven't played any of the later ones, um, but they seem pretty beloved and played and respected. I know um, they just added Simon and Smash and Richter and I think that says a lot if they could make their way into such a big game like that. Um, definitely a big franchise. Uh, one big connection I see though is Hollow Knight as a modern game. That game takes a lot from a game like Castlevania. It's a Metroidvania. It's a bit tougher. Even the story and the aesthetic is a bit more grittier, more adult. The last thing that I want to talk about was the music. I um I don't have too much to say because I don't know too much about music, but 8-bit music in general, like 16-bit music, have always been some of my favorite. I love this era of gaming and all the music that came with it. Um, it's just always really good and really puts you into the atmosphere and the immersion of the game. Playing this game coming from a 21st century gamer that I am, I can still find value in a game like this and I still think it's pretty fun. Sonic 2 is actually my first video game so I have, I still have some connection to like 20th century games. Um, but Castlevania is pretty fun. I'm currently kind of stuck here against these bats but I'm having a good time and overall I think there's a lot of value in playing older games and, and learning more about them. They have a lot of 
rich history and I don't think we would have the games that we have today without games like this, truthfully. And yeah, I think that's all I got to say. Thanks for watching.